Hello everybody, it's TD Bricks here with another LEGO tutorial and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this modern LEGO painting and without further ado, let's begin. So as you can see here, this is the plate that I'm going to be assembling my painting on. So pretty simple, just some tiles to resemble the hardwood flooring and a 4x8 base plate. So first off, I'm going to stack two layers of bricks on top of each other. So I'm just going to get some random parts that I have and just simply create two layers of bricks and when you're finished it should look just like this and what I'm going to do next is I am going to grab a 1x4 tile of course you can make it as long as big or as small as you'd like but I'm just using a 1x4 tile for this demonstration um, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get another layer brick and I'm simply just going to place it on one side of my 1x4 tile as you can see here. So now I'm going to grab a 1x1 snot brick element with the one knob and I'm simply going to place it like so. So make sure that's facing towards the tile element like this. So for example if you're placing your assembly on this side then it's going to be facing this way. But for this demonstration I'm placing it here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to fill in that empty space there with an extra brick and I'm going to continue stacking bricks on top of each other so when I'm finished I should have a total of three bricks so as you can see there so from this spot here to the very top there are five bricks um, and I'm going to continue that same exact assembly on the opposite side except I'm not going to use the snot brick element so keep that in mind and what I'm going to do next, I'm going to grab two of these 1x2 plates and just stack them on top of each other. I'm going to make two of those, as you can see here and here. And I'm just going to simply place them on top of each of my columns. So as you can see there, they're all stacked on top of each one. So I'm going to grab a 1x6 plate, as you can see here. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stack a total of seven layers of these plates as you can see so pretty simple I'm going to do that and as you can see here I have this nice effect and I'm just going to simply place that on top of my 1x6 plate as you can see there and on top of this assembly I'm going to place a 1x6 tile keep in mind make sure that you don't use a 1x6 plate because it won't work and finally I'm just going to slide that in here and there we go we have our nice painting so to finish it off I'm going to get two of these 1x4 bricks as you can see here. I'm going to place them side by side to make a 1x8 brick. Obviously if you have a 1x8 brick, good for you because you can use that as well. And underneath my two 1x4 bricks I'm going to place a 1x4 plate. And finally I'm going to connect that to the top of my assembly. So our painting is complete, the frame is all assembled now, and the painting just looks fabulous. It's beautiful. So now I'm going to make the lamp. This is optional so if you don't feel like making the lamp, then you can just stop this video. Um, but the lamp is pretty simple to make. I'm just going to grab a 1x4 snot brick and two 1x2 bricks. What I'm simply going to do is I'm just going to place my snot brick on the very top of my painting, directly on top of that. And on the sides of my snot brick, I'm going to place my two 1x2 bricks. Um, I'm going to get a 2x2 two two jumper plate as you can see here and I'm also going to get one of these little, one of these faucet elements one of these comb bricks and finally one of these transparent studs to resemble the light so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my faucet brick and just simply connect my comb brick onto the faucet brick like so pretty simple and finally I'm going to connect my transparent stud on top I'm sorry, not on the top, but on the bottom of the comb brick. Finally attach this assembly onto my 2x2 two two jumper plate. I'm going to make two of those, like I said. As you can see here, they're both identical. I'm just going to place them on my 1x4 snot brick. And when you're finished, it should look really nice. Almost looks like a gallery wall now. Very beautiful. And that sums it up, guys. So there you go, everybody. That was the LEGO tutorial. I hope you guys found this video to be useful, and don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and of course, stay tuned for more.